service. We have sanctified this uh, service, the parking lot, the street, and everything. Uh, we, we come against um, any witch and warlocks uh, and those folks who want to come to stop our progress on uh, religious uh, minds and secret religious minds and sect uh, that's coming up against God's people. We crash right now. Everybody say we crash right now. Covens. We crash demonic altars. One more time. Ah, come on, somebody who's not afraid, so we crash. Demonic altars. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we call forth for your pure glory this morning. So, Pastor, we call forth for, for your pure glory this morning. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in our lives today. In Jesus' name, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 14, as we talk about pure glory, we are talking, it says, For the earth will be filled. Can you say with me, for the earth will be filled? With the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover of the sea. That's Habakkuk 2 14. Can we say one more time? For the earth will be what? Filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the water covers the sea. Habakkuk 2 14. Also, we're looking at um, in Exodus uh, chapter 33 and verse 18. That's the prayer we have at the bottom of the text. And it says, What? What Moses said, Lord, what? Show me your glory. And this should do those two. Yeah. Exodus 33, 18. Uh, he says, Then Moses said, Now show me your glory. Somebody said, Then Moses said, What? Show me your glory. And we are praying for the glory of God to fall upon our personal lives. And we said that what's happening in our world, that our world is void of the glory of God. And God wants you to be knowledgeable about the knowledge of God. Somebody say, God wants me, God wants me. to be knowledgeable about the, what? the glory of God. Why he wants you to be knowledgeable? Because God wants you to be a carrier of the glory of God. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I mean, Job was a carrier. Can't wait until I reach to Job. But the carrier, he was a carrier of the glory of God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, yeah, Adam and Eve, they were, they were glory carriers too. Until they messed up. Yeah. Somebody say, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> But God wants us in this dispensation. In this 21st century, to be glory carriers, somebody say yes, yes. and that's where you're going to be knowledgeable about the glory of God. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah, because if the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God, it means that you're going to carry it, and it has to come out of you like a water spout. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Every place you go, you go to the supermarket. The glory comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to buy your clothes, glory comes out. You go to school, glory comes out. You go to the college, right? Glory comes out. Somebody say, ah, ah. Kissing your husband, glory comes out. It was kind of weak. Kissing your wife, glory comes out. Ah, ah, ah. And so that's why we are struggling. You understand me to get to our husbands saved and our wives saved. Those are who come to church and uh, your other half doesn't come. Is that we got to know to release the glory? I hear nobody. Somebody say, what? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because if so ties can be released between husbands and wives, you who come into the house of God can release the tangibility of the glory of God. But you see, the enemy wants you to always worry. Uh, uh, to become a worry ward and not being able to get yourself all fixed up with the glory of God so you can release it. And impact your man or your woman of God. Somebody say, uh huh. As a matter of fact, though, the glory of God calls them sanctified already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody say, don't give up, don't give up. Whoa, oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you what's happening in the world is because we are the chaos that is happening in our world politically, it will cause what? If the church is void of the glory of God. You are void of the glory of God. Somebody said, uh -huh. I, I heard this morning about a woman. She was in the boardroom. Everybody said boardroom. Oh. And all of you are going to be quiet right now. Transacting business in the secular world. But she was the only Christian in the boardroom. But you know what happened? The glory of God fell upon her in the boardroom. And she dropped on the floor in the... Oh. Uh, I know some of you are going to be quiet. Uh -huh. And she started rolling around in the... Oh, and the other secular people didn't know what happened to her in the oh, Some of you are kind of preaching with me now. <laughs> and then they called 911. Oh, oh, oh. 
911 came and they tested everything. They said, well, everything is okay. But this woman is rolling around on the street, I mean, on the floor, in the board room. Uh -huh. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. And so they took her to the ER. That's the emergency room. All the doctors came in in the white and they check her out and they say she's okay. I mean, she's just filled with joy. Somebody said, uh-huh. Getting rid of demonic spirits and sickness, disease and infirmity. And so they called her husband. Her husband rushed into the ER. When he came in, the power guard hit him. Boom. And he began rolling on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so somebody said, come on, put your hand up and say, I need, I need the, glory. the glory. The enemy wants to stress you out. Know. The enemy wants to kill you. Uh -huh. The enemy wants to ruin you. Yeah. Especially when you hear about the glory story. Uh -huh. So you got to say, whatever the pastor is talking about, it better be true. God, I want the glory. Like the guy on the television said, I want my money and I want it now, God. I want my glory and I now. Somebody so serious still around the corner. Come on, one more time. Somebody said, I want my own glory and I want it now. I, I stop playing Christianese. I stop handling the things of God lightly. Oh my God, only the people and the church folks, pastors, deacons, bishop, evangelists, call them what you want to call them. But we handle the things of God lightly. The people of the world, they are more passionate than we are. Somebody said, uh -huh. we just finished a carnival just the other day and all the folks in the carnival office has to do is to set the dates and the parameters and the number 16 and number 26 and the thing I said, that's where you go, that's where you go and everybody so orderly and everybody find their number in the road and everybody sign up, sign up right there and everybody queue up right there and everybody come up at the right time right there only up in the house of God we are so disoriented and so frazzled that devil and the demons and his mother-in-law whoever he has is alive we got to arise and stop handling the things of god lightly if i said lightly we gotta get up and open the word of god because the glory of god is in the bible some of us have it on an app we gotta read it somebody said uh-huh Somebody say glory, glory, glory. One more time say glory. So that the earth will be filled with the knowledge. Somebody say knowledge. Of the glory of God. You got to be the one that's giving them the information about the technology of the glory of God. But somebody say you got to be the one to give them the technology about the glory of God. They see you coming and they're seeing light and fire all around. They say, man, I see something. Because that's the glory. And you start talking to them about the technology of the glory. Awesome, oh, guys. Hallelujah. Woo! Somebody say, Hallelujah. I feel God early. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, Glory. Mm. So the earth. Somebody say, The earth. And so we looked at um, in 2 Corinthians 3.18. 2 Corinthians 3.18 It says, Paul says, But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of God. Uh, it says in another version, unveiled face. And it says that we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. So I'm changed. I'm changed. Into the same image. The, same image. Uh, the image that God is in. I mean my body, my mind, my soul, my spirit, my mentality, my thinking, my disposition. I am changed into that same glory. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. You see, David was the one who created before on the Moses' time and Eli time. What happened is that the glory of God, it was not unveiled. Somebody say unveiled. Unveil. It was behind the veil. And the priest, when he was going into the Holy of Holies, he had to wash everything his clothes had to be white he had to be spotless that's an act of righteousness somebody said ah, ha, ha. and then if, if, if he had a wife he could not even go into his wife that's how serious they were and the other priest it's how serious they were when you're going into the holy of holies the other priest will keep him all night so at least he can't sleep and have any dirty dreams somebody said ah, ha. that's how serious 
Let's stand up up on the ring of Torah that this guy wouldn't go to sleep. Somebody said, I kept him up. So that when the morning time come and the, the time comes for him to go into the holy of holies, he will go in there clean. Somebody say clean. clean. Somebody say righteousness. righteousness. Somebody say holiness. holiness. We are handling righteousness and holiness in God's house lightly. Yeah. My God, so my God, my God. So if we do it in God's house lightly, what do you think the, un the, uh, the, the unrighteous is going to do? Ah. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. If we are just uh, barely on the mercy of God, getting along the mercy of God in the house, uh, what's happening to the, the sinners and the ungodly? My God, somebody said, my God. My God. And so they kept the, the priest up before he went into the holy of holies. Let's see if he would go in with sin and even in his mind mentality. Dirt upon him. He had to put blood and his big toe, blood and his tongue. Blood, he had to be bloody. Yes. You know when I see, when Jesus, when I see the blood, I will what? Pass away. They had to kill a lamb and blood him up. He had to be clean. And were, so God looked at him through the blood. And he goes into the Holy of Holies. And even as he goes in, he has to create a smoke. So that God, you can see him. Yeah. Ah, somebody said, ah, ah. Before he went into the, un, the, the unveil. Hallelujah. I mean, the veil blew flame. Somebody said, ah. ah. So David, now when he built his tabernacle, he built his tabernacle and he put the ark where the musicians can see, Jetchathin and Jackson and all, and He-Men and all those great musicians who led a team and a troop of people in the house, 24-7 worship they had in the house. Somebody say, hold on. And so he placed the ark of the covenant with this blue flame right there. And so they, they, he, 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 what, he unveiled it. Somebody said, they blew up. Unveiled it. So they sang in the presence of the glory of God and no one died. Somebody say holiday. So David was the first one who experimented with the unveiled glory. Somebody say holiday. Then then, 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 Paul comes and say that God wants us now. We can, we can go into, I mean, the, the glory of God unveiled. That means we can see it with our eyes. Somebody say holiday. And you will not die. And so God wants us to prepare to go into the glory of God. What? Unveil. Somebody say holiday. And when you go into the glory of God, somebody say unveil. The glory will metamorphosize you. The glory of God will transform you. The glory of God will take you from glory to glory. Somebody say from what? From glory to glory. Oh, yeah. I, uh, the, 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 uh, the last time I heard that Jesus is coming back and God is coming back for a church without spot or without wrinkle, a church that is what? Glorified. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody say glorify the church. Yeah. One more time somebody over here say glorify the church. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he's coming back for it. Somebody say he is coming back. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, but we are the ones uh, to carry it. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm, I'm sick and tired of, of the church just rumbling with the world. The same cracker that drops from heaven, the church kind of uh, get a, a, a little, um, what do you call it, a little piece of it. The crumbs from the cracker that drops from heaven. Somebody said, uh -huh. The last time I checked, when, when stuff was dropping from heaven, man, the church got all of it. We ain't got to be greedy. If something is coming up from the heaven, hallelujah, we get the church first, gotta get it first. Yes. Somebody say me. Me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say the church. Yeah. And what God has for us uh, is his in in initial intention for the church. Uh, for us to walk in the glory of God uh, and to be uh, glory carriers in this last day. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. And God, he will not stop telling you about the glory of God until you make up your mind to carry it. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. Let me say that uh, God likes to create the glory. Somebody say God yeah. likes to create glory. Then we look into Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 5. Isaiah 4 verse 5. You can write it down. It says, and the Lord will create. Everybody say create. Amen. Upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion. This is Mount Zion. You hear what Mount Zion on the side of the north. That is where the temple was pitched. That was where the temple was located. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, well, this is our Zion right here. Pitch in five dash to estate Rapun. Somebody say aha. Right on the Weymouth Rhymer Highway. This is our Zion. Somebody shout this. This is our Zion. 
the church where you go to, that's your Zion. Somebody say holiday. And hear what he says. He says that God wants to create. Somebody say what? Create. It means, create means that God's going to create something that a glory that you have never seen before. When you thought that Moses' glory was uh -huh, splendid. Uh -huh. Somebody say, uh -huh. You think that the glory that shone from, from heaven when God said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Uh -huh. That was a ah, good glory, different glory. Somebody say, uh -huh. When Moses encountered the glory in the burning bush, different kind of glory. Uh -huh. Somebody say, uh -huh. The glory that Ezekiel saw in the temple, different kind of glory. Somebody say, uh -huh. The glory that uh, David saw, somebody say, different kind of glory. The David that Solomon saw in the temple, somebody say what? Different kind of glory. The glory that uh, the priest saw in 2 Chronicles 5, around 12, 13, 14, that was a different kind of what? Glory. Ah, somebody say, hallelujah. Ah, somebody say, created glory. Somebody say, God. Hands created glory for this 21st century church. Moses has not seen it yet. David haven't seen it yet. Solomon hasn't seen it yet. All those who priests that were dressed in white had their harps and cymbals and timbre. Ah, you haven't seen it yet. Somebody say hallelujah. I thought somebody say you have not seen the created glory for Global Life Church. I thought somebody again and say you have not seen. The created glory that God has for Global Life Church. Somebody said we are working it. We are preaching about glory. We are talking about glory. We are demonstrating glory. We are carrying glory. Somebody said hallelujah. Somebody said demonstrate glory. Somebody said carry glory. To ask somebody, do you know you are a carrier of the glory of God? And that's why the enemy is frustrating the church. I'm frustrating this generation because something is about to break forth from within God's people. Because glory can break forth from within and glory can break forth from above. Somebody say, uh -huh. Somebody says something, something is brewing uh, from the throne. So we didn't say nothing. Somebody says something is brewing from the throne and it's glory. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Uh, somebody say, Hallelujah. The last time we checked uh, around the throne, it says uh, a fire was flowing like a uh, like volcano. Uh, 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 you, you know the, 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 the flow, where the flow? The, 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 the picture, the lava flow, but there's a name for it, tectonic or something like that. Uh, somebody help me, I'm going to cheer that just yet. But anyway, uh, somebody will help me, maybe online. <laughs> what? Okay, he's a plasma flow, uh -huh. but there's another name too. But anyway, but maybe we'll take plasma. Plasma is a, is a good one. It's, a, it's flowing. Somebody said fire is what? Flowing. From his throne. All right. That fire got to end up someplace. Yes. <laughs> somebody said that fire has to what? End up someplace. One more time. Somebody said that what? Fire. That river of glory. It's a river of glory. Ah, the river of glory. Um, um, John saw it. The river of glory has to end up someplace. Somebody said hallelujah. Yeah. That's what's about to hit. Yeah. Earth. <laughs> Nobody said that. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said hallelujah. I'm tired of church, normal church. I'm tired of just for just coming down and say, God, I'm all right. You all right? God, are you all right? You all right? <laughs> Please don't touch me. Please don't trouble me. I, I, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.
I just say it like you really mean it, man. Come on, I say I stop. I stop playing religion. Woo! So one more time, say I stop. I stop playing religion. And you tell God when you stop playing, you say God, if you see religion in me, please take it out of me quick, fast, quick, and in a hurry. Woo! I want God inside of me. Somebody say, huh? I'm not hearing you, somebody say, I want God. I want God. That's what Jesus said in John um, 17. I am in God and God is inside of me. Somebody say, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's such a trinity. That talking about God is in me. Somebody say, uh huh. God wants to be real. In me. Somebody say, God wants to be real. In me. Woo! I feel God right now. Somebody say, God. God. Wants to be in me. Wants to be in me. Religion kills. Oh, yeah. Religion is killing this generation. Yeah. Religion is killing our young people <laughs> because we avoided the glory of God. We do not even have a youth movement going on for it. Because we avoided the glory of God. Somebody said we are what? Well, well, okay, so if all of us inside here want to die, we won't carry it on. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, uh-huh. Woo, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how far we have gone. Just nominal. Just, uh, just um, handling the things of God. What? Lightly. One more time, you do what? Handle the things lightly. I'm saved. I'm a Christian. I couldn't care less. Who else coming to the kingdom of God? And you know you could do your gentle Jesus, meek and mild prayer. Okay? And do your sin and come back in. Uh, but, but, but you're doing it and you're damning the souls of other people who want to come in. Somebody say hallelujah. I still maintain that the things that we see happening in our world from President Obama on down happened because there were, the, the church was void of the glory of God. You understand me? The, the, the thing that I call the, the, the church, it was filled of being politically correct. You can't be politically correct and be void of the glory of God. Yes, we like our little black Obama. Yes, we love him. But if the churches didn't abandon uh, uh, President Obama, he wouldn't have signed some of the damnable laws that he signed in because we have abandoned him being Democrat, being Republican. You understand me? And so it is, we can't abandon Trump neither. President Amen. Trump. Amen. Somebody said, uh -huh. uh -huh. if it is God put him inside there and he's in this and on that, and that um, white, church, white House chair, we're going to send some, some prayers to the hot seat. Amen. Amen. Oh, I hear nobody. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody says, we, 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 got, we got to know the, the, the church. Somebody says, church, the church. Yeah. Yeah, when, when we were speaking about, about righteousness, when we were speaking about, about uh, what the Bible says, uh, even the, the, the presidents were coming to the house of God, they were tuned into TV and they were tuned into the networks uh, and they would hear what the righteous men them were preaching about in the land and they were not so funny to go and put laws in the place. But we become politically correct and we don't want to offend people in the church, outside the church. Listen, the glory has to come back to the house of God. Else, a lot of us are not going to make it in. Hey, 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 hey. This is how bad it's going to be. The, listen, listen, the day, even in this land, there are a lot of witches out, a lot of um, weirdo people out, and they're anti the church. People, and if they're praying more than you, they're hugging a tree and praying more than you pray in a day. We are in dangerous trouble. If they hug a tree and just mutter something, and you haven't muttered nothing for the day, they're going to take over. If they go to their Buddha uh, and they give them food, and the demons come and eat up their food, they will rule and control our culture. My and God. the next 20 years, they will take it over, and their children will lead us. I'm not hearing you. Yeah. But the counteracting force is that if they are praying, if the Muslims are praying more than we pray in a day, they could pack up their taxes, they could pack up, um, drop their hammer, drop their sock, throw down something no matter where they are at the airport, driving your wallet, and they pack it up and say, this is my prayer time, and they go get down there and pray, and you'll be a Christian in the end, you're saying, why you don't come in the car and take me to where I go, why you don't get on this back to and start praying in the Holy Ghost? That's it, that's it. This is the, 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 this is the dichotomous situation that we're in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we are handling... The things of God, what? Right. Too lightly. That is so lightly. I could put on the two. We are handling what? The things of God too lightly. And even though the men of God preaching to you about the glory of God, some people don't need some one finger there to get into the glory of God. All their tone in. Ask them when you're going to change. And we do not even see no, no second chronicles 214. 
and Exodus 33 18. But Pastor, when you go change and stop. Talking about the glory of God. Pastor, we have heard the glory of God far too much. We are handling the things of God. What? Too. We are handling the things of God too. If you are crooked, change. If you are teaching fast backward, change. Yes, it, it, it's crazy. Christian love is coming crazy. And that's why we need the pure glory of God. Hey, and that's why we need what? The pure glory of God. And so the, 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 the word of God tells us, uh, I don't have time, I can't go on to where I want to go. But, but the glory of God, God wants to create glory for you. Come on, somebody say, God wants to what? Create glory. Because you see what, what glory is. You see, God created glory for the children of Israel. I, I, I'm just going to say, but I really want to go into it and read it. In the wilderness. In, somebody said, God what created the glory of God for them in the what? Wilderness. In Isaiah, God created the glory of God for the, the, the Zion. And then he said, all those who dwell in Zion, I want to create glory for you. Somebody say, holiday. And then we said glory can come in the form of a little Jew. Somebody said Jew. Yeah. To cool you off in your house. Yeah. Before you start throwing fine, frying pan and hot water yeah. and all kind of stuff and oil. He said it comes like a Jew to cool you down. Somebody said, ah. And then sometimes it, it, it comes like a fire. Somebody said, ah. To refine you, to, re, to refire you, to give us some passion. Church people are the, the less passionate people I could find right now. Uh, the, the people of the world. I tell you something when I go around driving. Uh, I tell you what, last Sunday I went driving and the people were still in the club like 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning when we are sound asleep. Oh, uh, somebody said, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I felt so good that I'm out there, I'm praying uh, around the land, driving around and praying for glory of God to fall, for righteousness uh, and to erase uh, um, the stuff that was happening in the land when we went away. And don't wait until I come back. I just put over and erase it. And okay. drove up every dumb demon off the road. And I tell them, get off our roads. Somebody say, uh -huh. I saw one demon like an old, uh, an old ape, hairy. Uh, when I was biking my hill coming down there by Fear Child, Captain come and I said, clear the way and get out. I hear nobody. You could see them too. Somebody say, uh -huh. And so I said, no more car turning over. And I went to some areas where people who are into deep witchcraft and I, and I cursed the spot. They know me and I know them. Yes, sir. Somebody said, uh -huh. There's some wicked stuff happening in the area around here. Yes, and they, they, they think they can do the wickedness because it's carnival and you're take the people drunk. They're not all the more drunk. There were some deep, serious demonic entities and witchcraft and voodoo and voodoo and serious cult unleashed during carnival because that was like a high head day and people just don't know. And then people said, yes, the pastor, stop talking about carnival. But why are that mayhem during carnival? A high season of demonic worship in the name of culture. Hey, 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 pastor, over here, it's a high season. And then so now the church... No, we will limp and lame. And, but, but they have a, just a month or a few weeks and they cause mayhem and chaos in the land. But we have all the rest of the months and we cannot come together to worship, to pray, to start a crusade, to start a momentum, to do a gathering of God's people. It's always if I come to be with you, I am associated with the Pentecostals. If I come to pray with you, if I come to worship with you, I, I, I'm a Methodist, I'm a Lutheran, I'm a Moravian, I'm a whoever, who they, I, and then if I come to you, I'm going to show some kind of credence to the God you worship. That's a dumb demon. It's been around a long time. There has to be only, only the glory to conquer that. Hey, only the glory to conquer that. Hey, hey, I, you, you I've been in some meetings with some of these guys, and, and they said even out of their mouth. You understand me that they cannot associate with some people because if they're associated with them, they're going to think that uh, they, 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 they like the tongue talking. They're going to like what they do. I'm going to call my name because I was running with some of those guys. Somebody said, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I, I, they say, they say, they say. Somebody said, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I thought that that dog was dead long ago. I heard about that growing up. Uh, yeah, but, but it's still alive. Uh -huh. But it's only the glory of God. Uh -huh. Only you. Yeah. 
you, 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 be the carrier of the glory of God when you run into one of these preachers and, and you come into your environment and, and then you want to know what's happening here. Somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. Some of you were with me when we went down the road. I don't call the church because we're we, we streaming. Who went down, we went down the road, down the road here, down First Avenue? You only you? Uh, who else? Who else? Nobody else? We went down the avenue. When, 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 I think it was during Carnival too. And the women had a meeting down the road, down the church, down by First Avenue. Anybody remember that? My, one of my wife? <laughs> yes. And then in the church, who would think they don't talk in tongues? Yeah. Them church people were talking in tongues. Oh. Yes. yes. Somebody said, uh, 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 Is that Anglican church? Which one? And we have no other side, like you said. Is that Anglican church? Yes, no problem. I Anglican church. You understand me? And, and Kibia just come in. Some of them might hear me. Some of them might be shooting. But, and they said, Pray for him. They said, Pray for him. Well, that's the worst thing we you to tell me. Pray for him. Yes. I unleash the power of God upon him. And my wife is witness that he was he had the lectern and he grabbed the lectern and he was jumping with the lectern. I was sorry for him. And listen, and I, I just give him an easy thing. And the power God hit him. And he was holding the lectern and so said, he can preach some good song. And then I ease up and the people behind me talking in tongues and they said, give him more. I said, he had enough, you know. I said, give him more. The women get behind me like bulldogs and lion. Give him more. I said, what? Oh, oh. And he went crazy. I said, what? Bedlam breaker. Uh -huh. Somebody said, yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 listen. This is only one person, one oral hazer. Tell me, all you are doing the same thing. Look at that. I can do it. Yeah. Research your hand. You go in the supermarket, you see somebody hit the dust, you go put your hand in them, resurrect them. Amen. Somebody Amen. say, ah. Ah. you just say, God, not honor my watch, be healed, behold, and get on up. Yeah. Somebody say, hallelujah. Yeah. Woo, somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. I, tell, I tell you, let me wind down. Five more minutes. Ah, somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say, create your glory. glory. And Isaiah 4, 5 says, and the Lord will create. Somebody say, the Lord will what? Yeah. Upon every dwelling place of what? Mount Zion. Somebody say, I am that dwelling place in Mount Zion. Upon every dwelling place of what? Mount Zion. And upon her what? Assemblies. You are assembled in Global Life Church, Mount Zion. He says he's going to create a what? A cloud. Everybody say a cloud. And a smoke by day. And a shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be what? A defense. The glory of God will pour what? Protect you. Because what God wants to create glory just for you. Put your hands up and say, God, create glory just for me. And I say one more time, somebody say, God, create glory just for me. Mean that you're going to be a God said you're going to be changed from what? Glory. I mean, Paul said you're going to be changed from what? Glory to glory. So now you got glory. Somebody say, I got glory. I got glory. So you are a glory carrier. Yes. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. And so therefore we, we are unveiled people seeing the glory and carrying the glory. Somebody say, unveiled. Amen. Not veiled like the priest before. Amen. But what? Somebody say, what? unveiled and we are in there looking at the glory touching the glory and carrying the glory somebody say hallelujah now if you're in there as a priest touching and seeing and worshiping and then now here comes Isaiah said that God is what created glory for you somebody say hallelujah so you got your own created glory and it says a cloud somebody say a cloud so if you go into the supermarket and somebody says I see a cloud over in aisle one. <laughs> and they come and you're the only person on aisle one. Yeah. Don't just stand up there and look like, what? Well, like a sheep. You are the one. Yes, sir. Somebody say, uh -huh. yes, sir. start saying something and say, I can, can I get the microphone in that? Can I get the microphone in Pablo? Everybody who need um, uh, healing, aisle one. Yes, sir. <laughs> come up in the cool zone, please. Uh -huh. Come up into the freezer section, please. Yes, sir. I'm preparing you, I'm preparing you. Yes. Just don't stand up there. Yes. What? Watch your son. How we look? No, 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 no. Be activated. Yes. Come on, somebody say, get, get activated. activated. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. Because it says, he is creating glory in Zion. Upon the, at those who assembled where? In Zion. 
and it says that if you are assembled here, he said the same glory that is created in Zion, upon her assemblies, it can go into your house and you can be carriers of the glory of God. So the same cloud that you see in the house, you can carry it out the house. The same fire and lightning you see in the house, you cannot carry it in the house. So a lot of you are going to have people screaming at you and saying, Ah! <laughs> Wake up some of you, man. Some of you, man. <laughs> Next Sunday, we're going to have glory testimony. So, Father, right now, I should drop my hands. Yes, 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 yes. Surprise all these church people. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Just release the created glory, glory upon them. Glory, glory. Those watching those on Facebook, YouTube, uh, create the release, the created glory that you speak about in Isaiah and Paul spoke about that the church should move from progressively metaphorically from glory to glory somebody said uh -huh. we should not just stay at the door but we should go into the veil and that this is not a veil it is unveiled glory so god wants us to go into the what the unveiled glory and so father to be carriers of the glory of god changing the glory of god and we look different in the glory of god somebody said uh -huh. I think it was um, the prophet thing who said, um, you, you, look, you look much better than you, than you did before. Uh, somebody said, that is progressive glory. Somebody said, uh -huh, you look much better than you look You look much better than you do. I think you should sing it. You should sing it. You look much better than you do. Oh, Lord, listen. God. You look right now, you're somewhere in the future. And you look much better than you look right now. You're somewhere in glory. And you look much better than you do right now. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say you are what? Somewhere in what? Glory. And you're looking much better than you do right now. The devil is afraid of glory. You cannot handle glory with these mental airs. You have to handle it with your spiritual yes, yes, yes. Remember, progressively I talked to you about that where you came from, where your spirit came from, your spirit came from eternity, your spirit knows about God, yes. your spirit knows about the glory of God, and so God sent the spirit that knows about glory inside of this vessel that is made out of clay and dirt, yes. so therefore you, 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 you got to develop your spirit man, somebody say hallelujah. Yeah. One way to attract the glory of God is to worship. Somebody said worship. Worship. And uh, to praise. I, t I, I was just I was going to the funeral and I put on a nice classical syncopated worship. I had to pull to the side and, and God just gave me a, another glory, a, another glory story. Somebody said, ah. and I just stopped to develop my glory story. I said, I hope I don't get late, but I'm gonna pull and get this one. Ah, I, took up, I took up my pencil that's on my uh, cell phone and start writing the thing down. Somebody said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we get download. Yes. Ah, somebody tap into the spirit man. Somebody says spirit speak. Put your hand in the says spirit speak. We got to get the spirit man. Knows about eternity. The spirit man knows much more about God than you know about him. That's why he says when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, your spirit prays to God. When your spirit prays to God, you go there. Hey, when your spirit prays to God, you go your prayers and you go where God is. Now, if you sit and you grumble and complain and you wonder what happened, I wonder what Pastor said, I wonder, and you come into a church, a charismatic church, a demon busted church, a glorified church, and all you say that, I wonder. What just passed there? What just passed there? You gotta tap in with your spirit. Somebody say, I gotta tap in with what? Spirit. What I'm preaching to you is that flesh. I'm speaking because glory surpasses the flesh. You gotta catch this thing with your spirit. Okay, glory surpasses the what? The flesh. You gotta catch this thing with the spirit. You gotta carry the glory of God in your spirit. When you're baptized with the Holy Spirit, you catch it with your spirit. But your 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 mouth speaks it. But your spirit is also speaking in tongues too, but it just comes out of your mouth audibly. That's it. Hallelujah. Gotta catch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are these are times when God just only don't want just one Shambak, one Benny Hinn, one Pastor Old Hazel, one Katrin Kuman, one Amy Ma um, Miss McFarlane, one one what else? help me somebody. Help one. Um, one who? Jakes. <laughs> and you hear that one. One Tiddy Jakes. Um, Whatever. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, all of us. He wants all of us to carry with the glory. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, yeah. And God's going to surprise you. Yeah. Now let us stand. Let's stand. God surprised them.
Surprise me, Father. Surprise this congregation. Lift your hands up if you can. Just surprise. Surprise us, this congregation. With the glory of... I have just published my book, Sweet Aroma of Success, of the Amazon Kindle Reader. This book will motivate you to your next level of excellence at work or play. You may download this book to your Amazon Kindle Reader's address, http slash slash amd.to slash 2s4 commute. Points to remember from Sweet Aroma of Success book by author Dr. Earl Hazel. S. Nothing motivates us more than constant exposure to success. 2. The more informed you are, the more you will be proficient in your pursuits. 3. Time is your most valuable asset. 4. Remember that tomorrow's time is not wasted. 5. Do not be preoccupied with the little things, while the big things are passing you by. 6. The proper use of time in your life now will guarantee you freedom, happiness and success in your lifetime. 7. Work until the job is done correctly. 8. To succeed in life, you must have a plan and work a plan. I have just published my book Sweet Aroma of Success, of the Amazon Kindle Reader. This book will motivate you to your next level of excellence at work or play. You may download this book to your Amazon Kindle Reader's address, http slash slash amd.to slash 2s4 commute.